Hey, 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 how's everybody doing? My name's Lex Coop, and I'm back. I'm giving you some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay, and we're playing Cry on the map Crisis, and we're playing Domination. Uh, my three, uh, I'm running Scavenger, Sleight of Hand, and Ninja. My three kill streaks are Spy Plane, uh, the Seventh Chopper, and the Black Blackbird. The reason I'm running the the Attack Chopper instead of the Chopper Gunner is that I find that that way you're still on the ground you're you know you're not completely vulnerable because if you run the chopper gunner your body's completely vulnerable and you can get another death and um... i have found that by running the attack chopper instead of the chopper gunner there are occasions but sometimes you can get a lot more kills because you're getting kills on the ground and uh... you're getting kills from the air now the the only thing that um... I do recommend instead of running spy plane, although spy plane is very useful, especially in domination. Uh, I do recommend running dogs. So you're running seven, eight, eleven. Um, the attack chopper, the blackbird, and the dogs. That way you're still running around at all times with your gun, but you've got the dogs protecting the chopper and killing everything on the ground, and you've got the chopper shooting anybody that's not running ghosts. Ghost Pro. Anyways, um, I'm not going to talk about too much about the gameplay here. Um, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, I do run a split screen operation here. On the top left is my first person view. On the bottom right is my third person. Now, I do normally include third person of the victims that I get, but this match I didn't. Not because I went lazy with it, but because I've got a split screen, um, a split screen dual com. I've got a couple lined up that I'm going to try and pump out soon and uh, I'm gonna put the 130% uh, effort into those ones now on the right on the top right instead of running um, the Eagle's eye view of the minimap basically I decided to just run a free form a free form camera angle for the whole game so I just went in random spots through the entire game and I thought it was actually kind of cool it's some extra look at instead of the same old shit. I was actually thinking about doing an entire game like that, but it'd be hard to focus on what's going on, so I decided just to put it in the little mini map. Um, I got a couple of requests actually for uh, one thing I wanted to talk about was um, this large infatuation with uh, pistols or on your run as your sidearm. Uh, the only time I ever run a pistol is if I'm running a sniper as my primary weapon. But as my secondary weapon, I always run a rocket launcher. If you haven't gotten uh, the Strela yet, always run that first rocket launcher because you can lock onto aircrafts. I find that in a lot of games that I get go into, um, people don't run any sort of rocket launcher to take down enemy choppers, enemy UAVs, enemy counter UAVs. And I, a lot of the times, I used to anyways, people are doing it more so, more so now, but I used to find that I was the only one, and I'm like, I, you know, I don't mind doing it. Actually, I like doing it because, you know, you get points for it, and it takes two seconds to whip out a rocket launcher and fire. Um, but you're saving your team a lot if you're actually going to run it. And the people that don't run it, I, you know, they run pistols. What do you need a pistol for? Your pistol's not going to beat my primary. You're running. A, uh, you're trying to shoot me with a pistol, and I'm running. Gonna shoot you with a. a in this case, a, a Galil. You're gonna die every time. So why don't you just run the? Put a rocket launcher on your back. There's. We have a couple attack choppers up in this game. There's at least. I think there's three, and uh, only one of them gets shot down. And I think it's the last one. No, it's the second last one. But it doesn't even get shot down right away. It gets shot down like near the end of its spree. It was going to leave anyway. So don't be selfish, guys. What do you need a pistol for? You've got a fully automatic gun. And if you're not running Scavenger where you get to pick up the ammo, then you pick the first guy you kill. If there's nobody around, swap out your pistol. Or, or you know, swap it out for the the primary weapon of the, person, of the victim that you just got. So, I don't know. Ah, uh, that guy fucked me with his, his knife. So, uh, that was one of my complaints, is don't be selfish. Run a rocket launcher on your back to take down enemy choppers, UAVs, and counter UAVs. Um, what else did I want to talk about? 
Uh, I got enough time. What the fuck is wrong with people, and what the fuck is wrong with Ghost? I don't understand what people's issue is with Ghost. I'm not running Ghost in this in this class, but I I run it a lot. I run Scavenger more more than anything else, but I understand people that choose not to, you know, because they find that there's other perks uh, that go that are in perk one that they find more useful, as such as Scavenger and Flat Jacket. For domination games and stuff like that but why why do they have a problem with ghost they never had a problem with ghost um cold-blooded in modern warfare 2 nobody had a problem with it i never heard anybody complain about it i actually heard people say that if you didn't run it you're a vagina so why is all, all of a sudden there's this large infatuation it's the exact same as cold cold-blooded if you pro it the uh, enemy vehicles can't see you but now it's a big issue because there's no stopping power, so you're not giving up something. Is that that's the only argument that I can listen to that has reasonable thought process? Otherwise, people are just calling it a pussy perk, and you're a bitch if you run Ghost. I think you're a bitch if you don't run Ghost. Like I don't understand what people's problem with with Ghost. Ghost is a great perk. It's it ever since COD 4, and you're able to put perks. There was UAV jammer. Nobody had a problem with it back then. Now everybody's got such a problem with it. Yeah, I don't know. Leave my comments in the below. Let me know what you think on that on that topic because I don't I don't think there's anything wrong with Ghost Pro. I don't know. And um, I got a request. I got a request to tell a story, a drunken story, and I'm going to tell you one now. Um, I know it's got nothing to do with what the rest of this commentary has, but whatever. I figured I'd, I've got lots of time in this video. Um, one of my drunken adventures, uh, one night I w got a group of, I was going to meet a group of buddies downtown at a bar and everybody bailed. So I ended up going to this dance club by myself. And when I get in the mood to go out, if everybody bails, I don't give a fuck. I'm still going out. So I went out and I got, and I got pretty drunk. I sat there drinking by myself. This is when I smoked. And when you smoke and drink at the same time, it, um increases the drunkenness, the, the high, the drunk of the high that you get when you smoke. And uh, so I got I got pretty drunk and uh, two o'clock came around real fast and uh, I was almost uh, to the point where I could barely, barely stand and I was by myself and there's this uh, Stobie's Pizza, Stobie's Pizza, wow. The greatest pizza place in my hometown. It's well known for anybody who goes to the bars. You go get pizza after the bar, you go to Stobie's Pizza. That's where you go. And uh, so I went to Stobie's Pizza, waited in line by myself, and I'm at the point where I'm so destroyed that I'm looking up because I'm too hold to, too lazy to head my hold my head up high, and my head just flopping there with my eyes closed, waiting for me to get my slice of pizza. I get my pizza. I go out. I sit in the um, kind of like a bench area that they have but it's really it's like the wooden around the garden anyways people sit on that anyways i was sitting there and eating i literally ate half of it and i started getting sick and i was like oh this isn't this isn't good man anyway so i puked beside me and i walked home with my eyes closed and my head like flopping off to the side and uh, i walked all the way home and it's like a 25 minute walk and i made it home i have no idea how to this day i still feel lucky that i made it home Anyways, that was my game. I went 36-1. It's not like the crazy kill-to-death ratios that I like to show, but it's uh, an action-packed game. So this is Lex Coop saying rate, comment, subscribe. Do what you do, skadoosh. This is Lex Coop. My cat's in heat, so don't forget to follow me on Twitter.